I'm Bobby Nair, the publisher of Limehouse Books. Uh, I thought I'd try something a bit different with this newsletter and contact you via video. Um, I've got a few things to say. Uh, the first thing is about social enterprise. Now, I set up Limehouse Books in 2009, October 2009, with a specific aim of being a social enterprise. Now, the term social enterprise is quite woolly, uh, like a lot of business terms. Essentially, it means trying to run a business in a more responsible, ethical and social way to help improve society, uh, much in the same way as a charity, but also having some of the same aims to be profitable, because essentially uh, the way to stay alive in business is to make a profit. Um, now, I've been working on this. It's our sixth anniversary in October. Uh, for quite a while and so I'd, I just wanted to say what kind of things we've been doing to achieve these aims um, and a lot is focused on next year 2016 it will be my 10th anniversary in publishing uh, and I got my big break thanks to an Arts Council funded scheme uh, where I worked at Faber and Faber. I recently wrote an article uh, which was published in Publishing Perspectives uh, the, the link is on this newsletter and in it I said, uh, I laid out three things that I'm trying to do to do my bit for equality and diversity in publishing, which is something that's very close to my heart. Uh, the first thing is about recruitment. Now, there are no shortage of people trying to enter the publishing industry, but that doesn't necessarily mean they're the best people. And it doesn't necessarily mean that we apply the best means to get those people. Now, I've been very interested in a term, a concept called blind recruitment, which is where you try to minimise your own bias. We all have our own biases uh, by minimising information that is passed on to the person who assesses job applications. So things like your name, your address, your gender, your ethnicity, those kind of things uh, can lead to bias. Uh, for my posts, which are pretty much all freelance, uh, I'm going to be trialling and developing a system where I can vet applications through this method. Now, I've been doing some research about online portals for HR. There are quite a lot of them, uh, if you check them out online. And most of them, the ones I found, don't allow for this type of functionality. So this is why I might have to actually do it myself, uh, which will be quite an endeavour. Um, the second thing that I laid out in my uh, article was about paying people. Now, like a lot of industries uh, in the media, uh, publishing is guilty of its fair share of intern crimes and uh, people are still being employed to do pretty much jobs uh, unpaid. So, as a rule with my company, uh, everybody gets paid. Now, what does this mean? for a company that is essentially me and freelancers. Well, I've been working on a project that will launch in October. It's actually a YouTube series called Publishers in Pubs. And I'm quite excited about this because what I've been doing is filming interviews of myself, uh, interviewing other publishers, other independent uh, publishers. So I've been assisted by people recruited through the charity Eastside Educational Trust. Now they manage a project with college students, so people are 17, 18, uh, and the British Film Institute, the BFI, and these are all young people who are keen to make films in their different formats, documentary or film, um, and they need experience. So what I've been doing is I've been working with those students one at a time on these different shoots, and that's just, and they've been paid. Um, so that's two things that I'm doing, and the third thing is talking to people. Now, I talk to my authors about a lot of these subjects, uh, customers when I can, and this is your opportunity. You can always reply to this newsletter and get in touch with your views on diversity and equality in publishing and things that you'd like to do or things that you'd like us to do. Um, and those are the kind of three main things that I'm focused on at the moment. I'm also going to be doing some research uh, as I mentioned, that next year will be my 10th anniversary, uh, starting out as a trainee. So I'm hopefully going to be talking to some of the other trainees about a sustainable way of rebooting the publishing 
traineeship, uh, which no longer exists, unfortunately. In other business, um, we've got our one pound sale on at the Limehouse store, that's limehouse-store.com. Uh, some great debut novels uh, available for one pound, uh, including Sophia Blackwell's After My Own Heart, North Morgan's second novel, Highlights of My Last Regret, the most cruel and funny book you'll read about relationships, our one and only Briny Hatch, which is a book that everybody should read uh, by Penelope and Ginny Skinner. Great commercial women's fiction novel, very funny, Thinkless by Sophie McCook. Our best-selling Boys and Girls LGBT anthology, uh, edited by Paul Burston, available for one pound. And I couldn't do a newsletter without plugging my own novel, West No East. And finally, from the young Rosie Pugh, she's just graduated from Oxford, the Pearly Ad, a great novel for young adult readers. Uh, we've got a few events coming up. Uh, on the 18th of October, that's a Sunday, we'll be having our sixth anniversary bash at Jamboree in Limehouse. And then in November, we've got two events uh, in the Right Idea Festival. That's Sunday the 15th of November, and that'll be at the Idea Store in Whitechapel. More details about that in a newsletter to come, no doubt. So thanks for watching. Um, do check out the links, do check out our sale and hopefully get in touch. Thanks very much.